Greetings healthy and happy. <laughs> Quoted from the Wikipedia, the Sukhoi Su-30, Russian. Sukhoi Su-30, NATO reporting name. Flanker C-G-H is a twin-engine, two-seat supermaneuverable fighter aircraft developed in the Soviet Union by Russia's Sukhoi Aviation Corporation. It is a multirole fighter for all-weather, air-to-air -air, and air interdiction missions. The video shows a Su-30SM fighter aircraft of the Baltic Fleet Naval Aviation hitting a target at one of the flight training ground in the eastern part of the Kaliningrad region during a training flight. The pilots provided fire support for ground units, destroyed command posts, mock enemy armor and manpower, and also conducted aerial reconnaissance. The Su-30 started as an internal development project in the Sukhoi Su-27 family by Sukhoi. The design plan was revamped and the name was made official by the Russian Defense Ministry in 1996. Of the Flanker family, the Su-27, Su-30, Su-33, Su-34 and Su-35 have been ordered into limited or serial production by the Russian Defense Ministry. The Su-30 has two distinct version branches, manufactured by competing organizations, Kenne APO and the Urkut Corporation, both of which come under the Sukhoi Aerospace Group's umbrella. Kenne APO manufactures the Su-30 MKK and the Su-30 MK2, which were designed for and sold to China, and later Indonesia, Uganda, Venezuela, and Vietnam. Due to Kine APO's involvement from the early stages of developing the Su-35, these are basically a two-seat version of the mid-1990s Su-35. The Chinese chose an older but lighter radar, so the Kinards could be omitted in return for increased payload. It is a fighter with both air supremacy and attack capabilities, generally similar to the US F-15 E-Strike Eagle. The Su-30 is a multirole fighter. It has a two-seat cockpit with an air brake behind the canopy. It can serve as an air superiority fighter and as a strike fighter. The integrated aerodynamic configuration, combined with the thrust vectoring controllability, results in high maneuverability and unique takeoff and landing characteristics. <music> Equipped with a digital fly-by-wire system, the Su-30 is able to perform some very advanced maneuvers including the Pukachev's Cobra and the tail slide. The aircraft features autopilot ability at all flight stages, including low altitude flight in terrain following radar mode, and individual and group combat employment against air and ground slash sea surface targets. Automatic control system interconnected with the navigation system ensures route flight, target approach, recovery to airfield and landing approach in automatic mode. Air-to-surface missile launch by the crew of the Su-30 SM fighter. In total, more than 15 launches were made during the departure. Pilots from the Western Military District demonstrate a missile launch during exercises in the Krasnodar territory. The crews of the Su-30 SM, Su-34, and Su-35, after reconnaissance and combat, hit ground targets imitating mock enemy armored columns, aircraft, and fortified command posts with high-precision flight guidance into the air. Surface missiles at a distance of up to 2 kilometers. The missile is guided by a contrasting image obtained by a television camera under operating conditions of the air defense system. This autonomous target search is carried out by a homing head mounted on the rocket, and the launch itself is carried out only after the operation is confirmed by the pilot. This is very useful information today 
I hope it is useful and becomes knowledge for all of you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you later.